Good morning, everybody. It's Javier, and I'm excited to be with you here today to share with you information that is tied directly to your ultimate success here at Power. And today we are going to talk about the number one skill to master here in Power. It's very, very important. That's why it is skill number one. And I'm going to share with you the actual details as we speak. So now that it's on the screen, let's go ahead and continue. First things first, I want to congratulate. Uh, as a matter of fact, this was yesterday. Antonio and Irene Luna. I want to. They have their uh, very first installation. Uh, my recommendation uh, to everyone is to try your best to attend your installations, especially your very first one, uh, to make sure that everything is running smooth and at the same time to you know recognize your huge accomplishment. This is what everybody that joins, you know, power so so at some point in their actual business career get that because that means you get paid that means a whole lot of other things as well so anyways that's that let's continue with the rest of it i also want to remind everyone that if you are not yet on the actual uh platform called pipeline pro consider it if nothing else to take a snapshot of where your business stands uh this is mine as of this morning i've just surpassed 100 and 100 000 or 103 000 to be exact not in gross commissions but this is my half for all the uh, sales that i'm entering in, my, in 100% for those that are my own personal deals. And so we want everybody, the whole purpose I just told you of joining power is to make money while we help people. Uh, you can't help people if you don't make money. And so therefore, if your pipeline, or if you don't have a, a, a snapshot of it, uh, when you go with the cheaper one, which is the $37 lifetime deal with the Pipeline Pro, just so you know, you can't do a lot of the other stuff, text people, email. I'm not talking about that. What people need is something that they can look at in one full scoop and find out how much money is in the pipeline. If your pipeline is zero, and unless you want a big goose egg, if that's your mission, congratulations. But if it's not, you got to do something to change that. And here's the beauty of power. Your business can change, not quite overnight, but one week from now, it could be a completely different business. And so that's why I want to make sure everybody understands that we want to, and I'm not trying to impress you because I don't think this is impressive. I wish I could close all 103,000 this month, but realistically, it's not going to happen. But even if I just only make it to half of that, uh, I'll take it. Uh, if I was trying to impress you, I would show you Mr. Rhett Stafford. I don't think he's here today. I think he has a webinar or something, but um, I think his... I'm here. Oh, right. There you are. What's your pipeline at today? 196,326. Damn, man. So, okay. I thought I was going to pass him, but okay. So he's at almost 200,000. That if it all closed this month, he would make 200000 for the month. He's not going to close out, obviously. Uh, but like I said, how good or bad are you? If he's just 50%, 100000 for the month isn't too shabby, as they say. And we want to help everybody do just that. Uh, if you do need a mentor, this is his mentor flow code, all his contact information. Uh, obviously, somebody like him doing so, so good must know what the hell he's talking about. And he does. My goal is to help everybody start getting these messages that you see here, which are my favorite text messages that I love to receive. Uh, your e-wallet has transferred 1,600, 1,700, 1,400, 300, 15. I mean, every single day. That's the beauty of power. Now, here's a pop quiz for you. Who can tell me, who can tell me how we get paid and how often do we get paid here at power? Anybody, oh, not, not red, anybody else other than red? Every day. We okay. could get paid every day. We get paid after this um, site survey, 40% of the that's total. M1. Okay, that's correct. So M1 after a site survey. All right. And M2 comes when? After the installation. Okay, great. Oh, great, after, great answer. Okay. Yeah, well, after the installation, after the, um, the um, permission to operate. Okay. Uh, the technically, it's after no. installation. No. no. So you can get paid and still have no permit to operate. But- Yes, you got to know that because this is part of the recruiting. I'm not going to get into recruiting, but I, I want you to understand the power of this, that how often do we get paid for the, the sales part, which M1 and 2, how often do we get paid? How, how, how often does the company pay out is what I'm saying? Every day. Okay. And how about for, let's just say, the production of your team, which are overrides, as we call them, right? How, much, how often do they pay that? That's every Friday. All right. And how about now that we get paid for the loans as well? How often do they pay those out? Monthly. Wow, man, three out of three. Shit, I'm impressed. Wow, good job, good job. And so you need to know that because, you know, I belong to companies that they pay Fridays, Tuesdays, some plays once a month, some pay twice a month. Here you can get paid every single day, which is simply 
incredible. I just got uh, one of the last ones is for an advance for somebody. I don't know if she's here. I believe it's for her. Yvette, are you there? are you here? I saw her earlier. That was my screw up when the text went out at nine versus 10. But anyways, but let's just move forward, all right? That's what I want you to do, to get those as well. Also, we have a contest going on right now that allows every single person, every person that brings their first solar deal in the month of September, between September 1st and the 20th, the deadline is the 20th, a bonus of $250 in cash that you will be receiving at our upcoming event on the 24th. As of right now, that I know there's more people, but you not Bobby, you, go ahead. Hey, it's not the first solar deal. Remember, we made that any solar deal. Every in the month. Month. Yep. Okay, so here it is. Every solar deal you bring in, and Mr. Stafford is feeling generous today, uh, that what we're going to do is for every solar deal, give you a $250 cash bonus that you will receive at our event in Hasi and the Heights. And so far that I know of, that I know of, I want to congratulate Mr. Keith Kosabuki for having qualified for the $250 Fast Start Bonus Award. So congratulations, Keith, on a job well done. If there's anybody here or, you know, of anyone who has submitted a contract in the month of September, you need to let me know ASAP so that they can go ahead and get their money. Uh, also, my mentorship within Power is live. So I want to give everybody the access to my calendar for purposes of mentoring only. Any other kind of questions of support, Saturdays or Go directly to power. And this is an app that no, it's not an app, it's a shortcut that takes you to here. You can call, text me, email me. Uh, you can add me to your contacts with one tap. And of course, the calendar, which is what's filling up very quickly in case you need help with a mentor deal. Go ahead and schedule a call. Text me, say, hey, I just tagged you on a deal. I'll call you. And we're off to the race to help you become very successful as well. Uh, go ahead and just simply visit powermentor.com, P-O-W-U-R.com. You can go ahead and do that, powermentor.com, or simply scan the flow code on the screen to get you there, and you'll have access to this right here. Put a favorite little star on your browser, save it in your uh, bookmarks, so that way you have it with you all the time. Also, we do have the updated flyer now that has the 30% federal tax credit. The only uh, The old one had the 30, uh, whatever, 26%. And so if you want to, we have a master template on Canva. And so all you need to do is change, put your name and your phone number and the flyer is yours. This is, has the Las Vegas, Nevada giveaway. So if I mentor you, if you're a mentee of mine, I pay for all and any and all of the Las Vegas trips, period. If, if I'm not mentoring you, make sure that your mentor is willing to do that or just buy your own marketing boost account. And here's the code for that. Scan this so you can grab your own updated Vegas solar uh, flyer. It works so well, especially when recruiting. And I'll tell you how I'm doing that as well. Uh, also, as a reminder, this coming Wednesday and every Wednesday in September only, people have already asked me if we can continue doing it into October, November. And the answer is yes. If you sponsor it, I mean, if you go do it, I don't have the time. But in the month of September, in September only, I will be conducting a presentation at 10 a.m. in the city of Hacienda Heights to recruit realtors. And I'll give you a little bit of a peek behind the curtain as to why people ask, why are you always focus on realtors? And I'll talk to you about that. I want to uh, uh, welcome uh, Sama Singh. He just came on board as part of this realtor campaign. He's, a, I believe, broker, a realtor. So I want to welcome him uh, here from Sacramento. Max, I just brought him. He's a, a real estate professional. I just met with him on Wednesday as well, or whatever, Thursday. Congratulations to Max. He is on board with us as well. Mr. George Marquez was there Wednesday as well at the event. He's a broker out of uh, Fontana, I believe. And he's coming on board. He's got his first three clients. And I'm telling you, your business can look very different in just one week's time if you do your part. Also emailed and text you this image that you just simply right click and download onto your phone. And then you just simply send it to your guest for our webinar, uh, our Wednesday webinars. And what that simply means is that we do these webinars every single Wednesday, again, in the months of September only at 4 p.m. and 7 p.m., not for realtors, but for everybody, everybody and anybody that you want. So go ahead and just, you know, check your text messages. I already sent it to you or your email, save it on your phone and send it to your actual guest five minutes before the webinar begins. You want to make sure you always, always do that. 
And then lastly, I want to remind you that we have the our Team Crusaders kickoff celebration on Saturday, September 24th at 10 a.m. in Hacienda Heights. We only have six seats remaining. And I guarantee you someone's going to come to me and say, hey, I need a hookup. I need to get in there. And my answer to them is you can listen to it from the lobby, but you're not going to be inside the room because if we overstuff it, it gets too hot. And we're not looking to do that at all. Everybody's had over a month to uh, reserve their free seat. And if you didn't take time out of your day throughout that month and a half to reserve your seat, I don't know what to tell you, but we're not making any accommodations. Here's the list of some of the, or most, or all the people that I have as of right now that are scheduled to be recognized for having earned their first check with power, meaning they closed a deal. If you are not on this list and you have closed the deal and you're part of my team since you started in power, you have to let me know ASAP by texting me. Everybody has my text, uh, text cell phone number. If you don't, go back to the other slide and download it. And you can go ahead and get your name. Or if you've mentored or if you trained or you've recruited somebody on your team who's closed a deal, it's your job as a good leader to make sure we recognize every single person. I'm very proud of every single one on this list. But I know we're missing people. I know we are. It's just that the Power Platform does not let me see who they are. So I'm banking on you to be able to show me what is going on as well. Any questions about this part so far? All right. If not, let's continue. Uh, go ahead and scan this code to register for the September 24th kickoff. If you have somebody that is going to be recognized on your team and they haven't registered or you don't know if they're registered, scan the code anyways and send it to everybody on your team. Be a good leader. <laughs> one of the best skills you can learn, one of the most important skills I've learned in the business of leadership, not sales, but leadership is the ability or the skill to mobilize people. You can tell a lot about a person's level of influence and understanding by how many people they have on their team and how many of them they get to the actual event, whatever that event might be. Remember that. I'm going to ask you that later on. If, again, if you have anybody in your team, especially yourself on your team, one of the most important skills is the skill of mobilizing people. Can you mobilize people to events? Or are you the type of person that actually does it the other way and makes it easier for them not to attend. I know you're busy, Red. I know you might not make it. I know it's kind of far, Red. I know that. But so, so we do have an event, Red. But if you can't make it, Red, I understand, Red. Don't worry. I know it's Saturday, Red. I mean, that's nothing wrong. That's You are who you are. But what I'm saying is you'll be more efficient if you develop the skill of mobilizing people. And that's what I've been trying to do. But it's your time, uh, your turn to do that. So let me just open this real quick. And this is my vault of knowledge. This is the stuff that has helped me and a lot of people be very successful in multiple industries. And so I'm not going to get into it. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek because we have <coughs> an, a specialized training coming up that's going to talk to you about how to become a student of human nature. If you want to recruit, if you want to sell, if you want to generate referrals, if you want to do any of that stuff, you're going to have to learn how to become a student of human nature. And when I understood this part, it helped me excel in everything I did from the police department to mortgages, to real estate, to life insurance, to leadership in general. And I didn't fight human nature anymore. I understood it and I leveraged it for and against people based on these points that I'm not gonna get into today, but I'm telling you, it's cool. Uh, lastly, if uh, you have not done so, it is important for you to get your hands, which I've sent everybody the link to the actual deck, as we call it, as to uh, when we start any presentation with the homeowner, it is the best PowerPoint or, or slide deck we've had from power ever. And it's something that will cover. Remember, if you're going to be good in sales, it's important to cover their objections and their questions before they even raise them. And if you follow this as is without messing with it, you're going to be able to dramatically increase your success as well. Uh, here's a question that I had yesterday for somebody that wanted was interested, I should say, in joining. And let me just get out of this for one second. This was uh, this is somebody that was interested in coming on board with us. And one of the questions that I'm going to, well, I'm going to ask you guys is this. Uh, what do I, meaning I'm the homeowner, right? What do I need to do 
to go ahead and qualify or claim the federal tax credit? What do I need to do? Who wants to go first? Uh, not first, Rhett. you have to first you have to give me your bill so we can see how much power you're using and see if your home qualifies. And then you have to be a W-2 employee or a self-employed person that pays federal income taxes. And, you know, if you have to have some kind of tax appetite, the government has to keep some of your money at the end of the year so you can get it back. Or you, sh- you have to have a tax bill that you're going to have to owe if you're self-employed like a real estate agent. Okay. And uh-huh, go ahead. therefore, you can use the tax credit so you don't have a tax bill that you have to pay. And you can use that this year. And if there's more left over, you can move it forward as many years up to, I believe, 10 years. You know, But you know, most people can use it in the first year or two or three. Okay. And how do I go about getting it? What is the mechanical element of getting it? That's what I'm asking though. How, how do I get it? You, you have to, you have to, you know, you have to meet with me via zoom or, you know, in person. So we can go over your savings report. Okay. So let's just you. say I get it from you and I buy the solar system for you. Okay. Now, Jeremy, how do I get my credit now, man? How do I literally get the credit? Yeah. The, you, well, when you do your taxes, the year that it's installed, you get to use it for that tax year. So when you do your taxes, um, if you're a W-2 employee, you could start, you know, change your withholding and start getting some of that money that you're not going to owe anyways now, or when you do your taxes, you'll be able to use that credit. You know, you give it to your tax professional, you know, accountant, you know, give them the documents that they need, you know, from the sale and they'll be able to help you get that tax credit. All right, cool. Okay, and, and, you know, the, the one thing that we'll cover, I think it's in two weeks, is how the federal tax credit works to make sure that we never say the wrong thing or get in trouble. But in a nutshell, what we do cover or what power covers and by covering it, you're covered, is this deck that I'm showing you right now. Because when you present to them this deck right here and it starts to show you, I mean, literally, this is directly from power. I'm not, I didn't create this. I, we gave this to everybody last week or the week before that. It shows you how to go into it. And in it, there's only one slide and only one slide which talks about the federal tax credit. And we always start by telling them that we don't render any type of tax advice. Go to your tax professionals. And then we tell them what we want to tell them. In a nutshell, there's form 5695, which is the residential energy credit form that will be filled out with the information regarding your system. And then, of course, at that point, we always tell them, start with check by checking with your tax professional. We don't render tax advice. And make sure you go back to your tax professional for any and all advice from there. But the what I'm sharing with you here is this. This is the slide deck that you should all be giving the same answer based on you studying it. It gives you all the ammunition you need to set the stage for a successful actual presentation with the client. It's in the knowledge base of power. So if you want it, I gave you the direct link last week. If you didn't grab it for whatever reason, you can look at the recording from last week's video on our YouTube channel. Or finally, you can just go ahead, of course, go ahead and um, and, and just go to power.com or I mean power and go to the knowledge base and get it right there for yourself as well. Become well-versed in it because remember, three training cells sounds like a lot. It's really not a lot. In my opinion, it's just simply not enough. But we go with what we have, and we want to make sure that people are up to speed to start getting paid the type of income that they clearly deserve. So anyway, so let me just continue with this. We're going to go into the number one skill to master in power. What do you think is the number one skill you need to master in power to become successful? Anybody? One skill. Just give me one skill. One. How to get in the life discipline. Getting the bill. Okay, so they're all good. They're all good. And the number one answer to that, of course, is that the art and science of collecting an electricity bill. This is the part that I don't let people join power until they show me they can do it. I don't need somebody on my team who's paying $85 a month that started by paying $185 that might or might not have $85 to invest in the business. I just had a presentation. With the, I don't even know where the hell he was for Hector Montano. I don't know if Hector's on, but uh, we had a presentation at 8.30. Yes, here. Hey, Hector, congratulations on that presentation. It was really, really good getting him there. How did you meet him again? Uh, just by sending out uh, emails to, to local realtors for the upcoming event on the 24th. He happened to join on, on Wednesday. He joined the Zoom meeting. Uh, he was in kind of late. Um, and from there, he, he reached out to me and, and told me if he could do a one-on-one. 
okay. And we did it. We did it at whatever time the hell it was. And I actually go ahead and I actually still have it here. And the part that I'm sharing with you, I always record my presentations and I send it to them because I want them to focus on me, not on trying to remember everything that they saw. <clears throat> and what you see here is my Loom account. I know I've spoken to you about this about a million times, but this is actually the presentation I did with this gentleman. And let me see if I can play Pretty this. Soft. Hold on one second, please. I'm going to see if I can actually go ahead and play this because I want you to see one thing. And that is that most people and presentations, uh, Red, can you let me know if you can hear the sound? Good morning, Christian. Oh, good yeah. morning. Okay. How are you? Here's what I wanted to see. Good, most people right. end the presentation by it's $100, $99 to join, $85 a month. I'll send you the link. Think about it. And if you really, really, really want to come on board, please come over. Please, please, I beg you, join my team. Uh, start paying. And I don't do that. And let me see if I can play this because I haven't even edited it. This just happened right before the my we're gonna scrutinize you just so you know okay and so scrutinize them scrutinize me scrutinize the opportunity but i think the more you do that the more you're gonna what he says it is and i think that i will let them speak for themselves hold on i mean i'm doing it right now it's not ready yet since they've joined us here as well hold and on. so i'm gonna send you this list name and phone numbers of just seven of 40. so if you go through these call me back and i'll send you another uh 16 or, or 26 and what it is people that are active in the real estate industry as brokers, loan officers, real estate agents, your job is to call them and say, hey man, I listened to this guy named Javier, he sounds crazy, uh, is he the real deal? And is this thing powered what he says it is? And I think that I will let them speak for them. And so anyway, what I want to show you is another clip on where we on purpose to tell them. Zero money down. Listen, I don't I'm showing him the script, I'm gonna show you with you. Hold on. But I can definitely prepare a free solar savings report to find out. And I can present it to you via Zoom in about 20 minutes. And the best part, Christian, is that you will then receive a four-day, three-night stay in Las Vegas as a way of us saying thank you regardless of what you decide to do. Now, do you get your bill in the mail or do you get it electronically? Okay, just give me a picture of all the pages, please. I'll prepare the uh, report. It's free, no obligation. And we'll meet next Monday at 7 p.m. to present it. Fair enough, Christian? Most people yeah. say, yeah. I mean... Christian, if you can do that, you're going to do very well with us. If you can't, don't join. I'm telling you right now. I mean, we don't have the time to waste. I don't want to waste uh -huh. your time. I sure as hell don't want to waste my time. But we definitely need help because California. So anyway, the point that I'm making is that what I was telling him, I removed something. Let me back go back over here. <clears throat> I removed something that he had in his back pocket. His ace was. I'm going to do you the favor because they're going to hit me up with, what do I want to do now? I already have my answer. I'm going to tell them I need to think about it. And that never came where I told him on the contrary. Remember I told you about the $99 plus the $85? Well, I don't want you to pay that. As a matter of fact, I don't want you to pay anything. I want you to first get your first bill. And if you feel it's going to be a good deal, and I'll tell you if it's a doable deal or not, then it's a simple math problem. Do I pay $198 or whatever the hell it is to make $3,500? It's easy. And so that's why I'm going to go back and study this with you for just one second. And it's called the art and science of collecting an electricity bill because it's just that. There's a component that makes it an art of collecting a bill. And that includes your tone. When you're talking to somebody, do you speak with conviction? It's how you deliver it when you're talking to them, the message, if you would, and also your passion. And so I'm very passionate about saving people a lot of money on their electricity bill, sometimes 50% or more based on your specific energy needs. But I'm also passionate about helping people become part of the solution instead of just part of the problem when it comes to dirty energy. And so you have to be aware of this. And the best way to do that is to record yourself. You can hold a Zoom webinar by yourself and record yourself and leave the camera on and see how you look, how you sound as it relates to the art of collecting a bill. Would you give yourself the bill if that was you? Or are you somebody who's hesitant? And the common denominator is, I'll bring it just one second. And of course, how confident you are will speak volumes of how many people, if any, ever give you the actual electricity bill. Very, very important. Now, the science component of getting the electricity bill is just as crucial, which includes your message. What is it that you're telling people? What is your message that hopefully compels them to do something? So you do have to have a message that's compelling. Number one, the science of it means your incentive. 
And so the difference between the science and the art, just so you know, that when we're talking about the science of anything, especially here, we're talking about it being duplicatable. We're talking about it being script-based. We're talking about this, anybody that wants to really learn how to do it can do it. And that's what I'm telling you right now, because I'm telling you, if you don't develop the art and science of collecting a bill and you didn't collect any bills this past week, I don't know what's going to change this coming week. So you don't want to be the kind of person that gets used to hanging around inactivity, lack of results. I always say, I mean, I'm going to ask you guys just to make sure I'm on the right webinar. How many people here are looking to make the coming week a productive week? Anybody? I am. And how do you define a productive should week? should be everybody. Well, should not, don't answer it for the people because I'm telling you right now, there are people who don't know what the hell they want. And it's easy to just talk to talk. But what I'm saying is how do we measure? How do we quantify? That's the one very important word. Quantify. How do we quantify whether it was a good week or it was a horrible, crappy week? And just so you know, there's nothing in between. It was very, very, very productive or it sucked and we wasted an entire week. How do we quantify that? Anybody? If you collected a bill. Okay. If I was to ask you, how many people here collected an electricity bill in the past week? And the answer is, I didn't collect a bill. It was a total waste of the week in that segment. I'm not saying your life. I'm not saying your overall business. But if I was to ask you, how many weeks or, or how many weeks out of the month which do you think it's important for you to collect at least one bill? Anybody? How many weeks in a month do you want to collect a bill? Every, every week. Every for week. me, it's every week. <laughs> and I say that because I don't want anybody to get offended and defensive and say, well, I was doing other stuff, idiot. I was learning about. So, no, I'm talking to those that are like me. I need to post results every week unless unless I tell myself and I announce to you this week, I'm going to be in Cabo. Leave me the hell alone because it's just and just, so you know, I'm more productive in Cabo than I'm even here because of the amount of focus and lack of distractions. You know how many people intend to have a productive week yet they look up. Damn, where did the week go? It went exactly where you planned it. And so what I'm saying is that for me, I love to quantify because if we quantify things, we leave our egos out of it. And so for me to say, first of all, did you intend to get paid this week? Well, yeah. Did you get paid? Well, no. Well, what do we need to change this coming week to make sure that hell never happens again? Because I just told you, you just told me. Power, unlike most other companies, they pay the sales portion every single day. You do a power, I'll give an example. You do a webinar for a client on a Monday. They do the, they, you sign the contract because you did a good job. They go ahead and schedule or we schedule the uh, site survey for, let's just say, Wednesday. They do it on Thursday for whatever reason. You know you're getting paid by the weekend or Monday. That's pretty cool. And so that's why I'm trying to hopefully brainwash you to be the kind of person like I feel I am that person. I feel disgusted with myself if I, if I literally waste a week on purpose. And by purpose, it means like a plan. But most people say, I didn't mean to waste it. It just got wasted. No. So I have multiple areas in my life. And you guys kind of got a taste of that today when I say the stupid text message at nine for another team that I run that's a very productive and very profitable team. But I like to generate results for people regardless of what arena we might be in. So going back to what I'm telling you, Get your mind situated where every week must, unless you intend to not be productive because it's your vacation, you're sick, then that's, there's nothing wrong with that. The problem arises when you want to be productive where you are not productive. That's the only thing I'm referring to. And so that's why I'm telling you that you need to develop the science and the art of how to collect the bill. So going back to the science portion of it, your message is important. What are you telling people? Uh, it has to be in writing so that you can master it. You know how many presentations I've given this week, I gave this week to potential recruits and every single one of them was identical. The same stupid joke, the same old slides that everybody tells me they're tired of seeing, the same this, the same. Why am I gonna change it if it works for me? I just showed you about three personal people, up uh, three people personally on board this week. With it comes nine training cells I have to do now. So you can generate internal consumption plus the other people that are tagging me, but I'm, I'm giving them results. I'm your mentor. I'm going to pay for the Vegas thing. I mean, I mean, and so what I'm saying is that we have to do that. So your timing, now your timing has a lot to do with two things, the timing in that person's life, but also we're talking about the timing of the day. 
I know that if I want to call you to try to collect your electricity bill and you work nine to five, calling you between nine to five is not good. I also know that if I call you after eight, eight thirty, you're going to hate me because you're probably just chilling out for the night and you're not, it's not going to be the same as if I called you at six thirty. I just know that now somebody's ideal time might not be ideal for you, but then guess what? You have to adjust. I had a webinar at 8.30 that I usually never would have done, but it's for Hector. So let's do it. And it kind of threw me off because I had my webinar at 9. I got to get ready for it. But I'd rather do that, spin multiple plates, but generate results. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with this guy. We'll see. I don't care, to be honest with you, because I did my part. That's all we can do. Um, I had a, I don't know if he's on, I think he's on Michael Johnson. You know, He's got a, a power hitter, uh, a very big you know, power hitter that he's trying to bring on board. And he called me last night to say, hey, I just want to know what, you know, what, what he was asking me. I'm not going to, I can't, I'm not at liberty to say people's names. So I'm not going to say it, but he was saying, hey, he called me last night. Hi, I just want to go over with you. What's the game plan for this power hitter for next week? My answer was kind of like it is for everybody else. I mean, shit, I don't, I mean, no, I'm not going to pull up a special PowerPoint for a power hit. No, it's going to be pull up my opportunity presentation. That's all I know how to do. And it works. I have a 95% success rate with people that come on board, that I present to that I come on board. Now, sometimes you don't see them on the, in the system because I don't want them to join and start paying and think that they're doing me a favor. All right, Javier, I'm going to pay. Here's my 185, but you better make me the money. I'm the other way around. I don't think you should join. I don't want you to join. And so what I'm getting at, we need to get them results. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. And we're going to go and start with, let's just see who's, who's in, who's out, who's hardcore. Who wants to go ahead and give me now? Don't make stuff up now. These are for people that are collecting bills already. If you're not collecting bills, don't answer up. We're not. We're not looking for uh, you know people that are just kind of hoping and praying. No, we're looking for people that are doing it. There's no wrong answer. I'm going to share with you a very simple script that just happens to work for me, and it's a script because it's printed. Uh, it, it's, it's it's typed up and everything. But you're going to have to make it real. So who wants to go first in regards to me being your? And we'll make it super easy. I'm your friend Javier. And you're just, you know, I'm a homeowner and you're going to hit me up for, for solar. Who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Come on. I know what red is thinking. Shit. Here we go. Meltdown. No, I'm not going to have a meltdown. I, I'm trying to inspire you. I, I, I want you to at least give it a shot. I want you to try it. But would you agree now if for every single person that didn't answer as of right now, would you agree with me that you have a lot of work to do? I'm talking to you. Now, you can't be quiet both times. Unmute yourself and answer up, please. At least that shows me you're kind of involved. If not, I'm going to wrap it up. This is for yes. you. Yes. Okay. Yes. There's one person. Anybody? The, the only honest person in the damn room. Yes. Hector. Yes. Okay. I mean, I'm just asking you. I'm not beating yeah. you up. I'm not trying to embarrass you. I'm just simply saying I need you. You cannot, you cannot be in darkness and light at the same time. Yes. You just cannot. And one of the biggest problems we have is we love to live in denial until we're called on it. And they were like, damn, am I? Well, I'm not really in denial. Am I in denial? No, I'm not. Well, you're in denial. You just said it. Right? And so what I'm saying is that this is something that is going to determine this is the number one skill you need to master to be successful in power. Because if you cannot do this yourself, what? let me ask you a question. Somebody different. If you cannot do this yourself, what are the chances of you teaching a team how to do it? What are the chances? Somebody, different. what do you think? None. None. And if they don't know how to do it, what are the chances of anybody between you and your team ever making money? None. I mean, pretty simple. That's why I call it the simplest and the most important skill of all. You got to learn how to pick up that electricity bill. Now, I'm not saying that you're, you're not going to be judged by how many bills you picked up. Because let me tell you something. This is something that sells itself. If it's right for them, they're going to tell you. If it's not right for them, they're going to tell you. But the victory for you is that you were able to take a step out of your shell, out of your comfort zone, and do something that can make you a lot of money. The only thing that's going to limit you is your availability and your time. Because now you can call anybody. But I'm telling you, start with friends and family. And here's what we're going to do once again. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this back up on the screen so you understand how simple, how simple it is. The science of your closing, and by closing, we're talking about how you sign off with them. Remember, most people, when they when they get when they are called and they sense that a sale is coming, 
they are getting themselves ready for the closing, which the closing is going to be, what's your credit card number? Let me sign you up for auto ship. I mean, we've all been hit up by friends that do that. But when there isn't such a thing, they'll leave you or you'll leave them and go away. Now, we have a one minute video. It is a whopping one minute that shows you what I just try to show you right now. And you can watch it over and over. And then you click on the download script button and you get to download it onto your phone. So you have it in front of you when you're calling them. And here's the way it works. Now, remember, the word here is paraphrasing. Paraphrasing simply means don't sound like you're reading it, even though you might have it in front of you. It's just guiding you on what to cover. The science behind this and the art, especially on the delivery, is to don't sound like you're reading it, even if you are. And so if I'm calling Joe, hey, Joe, this is Javier. How are you? Great. I'm calling you to let you know that I'm not helping people slash their electricity bills by going solar with zero money down. Now, I don't know if going solar makes sense for you or not, but I can prepare a free solar savings report to find out. I can then present it to you via Zoom in about 20 minutes. And the best part, Joe, is that you will then receive a four-day, three-night stay in Las Vegas as a way of us saying thank you. Do you get your electricity bill in the mail or online, Joe? Great. Do me a favor. Can you just send me a couple of pictures of all the pages, please? And I'll prepare the report and get back to you with the results. All right? Now, if you notice, I deviated from it. I did that on purpose because that was just my natural flow. Go with it because the hard part here is you doing it. Once you do that, if they agree, simply remind them to send you the bill and change the subject. All right, so how's it work? Good. All right, look, I got to get going. Bye. Or just simply hang up. Very, very simple. Now, if they ever show any kind of hesitation or, or, or don't say yes, just remind them of the following. And again, you don't have to read all of these things but they serve like bullet point from you. Well, as a matter of fact, Joe, the company I'm working for is called Power. They have over 11,000 installations under their belt and all their systems comes with a 30-year bumper to bumper warranty with a zero deductible. They are accredited with and have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau as well and have thousands of five-star reviews on Yelp. Just get me a copy of your bill and I'll explain everything during the Zoom meeting. Remember, you're getting a free Vegas vacation for 20 minutes of your time. So what we have done there multiple things, including the incentive that we just gave them. Uh, we gave them the sense of urgency. We want to do it in the next couple of days. And most importantly, what's in it for them, because here's the difference between selling solar today and selling solar five years ago. Most people had never heard of or have never had never given solar serious consideration. Today, everybody I talk to, everybody tells me the same thing. Well, we've heard about it. It sounds interesting. It's just that we've also heard some bad things about it. Once they say that, instead of you saying, oh, my God, I'm in trouble. No, thank God. Thank God. Because I can tell you that the number one thing that when I ask them, well, then give me an example of something negative you heard. Every single time it's going to be, well, my friends went solar, but they still get a thousand dollar bill every year. Well, that's horrible. But just, so you know, that's the reason for that is because it was designed improperly. Wrong design will always give you the wrong results. And so we don't do that. We custom. That's why I'm asking for your bill, because we are going to customize it to the exact amount of electricity you've used in the last 12 months. But that is a legitimate point. And so what I'm getting at, we'll get into closing and other stuff later. I'm telling you, if we can get three, four, five of you to understand the simplicity, but most importantly, the power behind what I'm sharing with you right now, you're going to be picking up the phone as soon as we hang up. Because if you don't pick up the phone as soon as we hang up, you're not going to pick up the phone the rest of the week. Don't kid yourself. You know, that, that's very important to be very honest to do that. Uh, when we actually get to make the SMS, when we get there, let's say I have two signed contracts, but we've never, never seen how to actually. Okay, somebody was telling me, uh, when do we actually get to make the estimates? When we get the electric bills, I have two signed contracts, but have never seen how actually. One of the things that you have to make sure you get together with your actual a mentor, what I do is I call them and I say, and I tell them, look, you do the uploading because you obviously have to upload the lead. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on my end how I request the proposal. Now, I don't create the proposal robots, basically. We have, you know, robots that do it. And so, but I still want you to see how I need to clean up your lead because I need to put the annual consumption. I need to go ahead and do a few other things to calculate the electricity. But then I'm going to hit out, click on the request proposal. And then they prepare it. So when we get the actual proposal, then we get on the webinar, you and I, 
to go over everything, especially the commission. We need to put the margin the right way. I need you to see how we add the actual extended warranty. I need you to see how we distribute the annual usage of electricity on a monthly basis so that it matches their electricity bill. Otherwise, if I tell power that they use 12,000 kilowatts a year, they're probably going to put it almost evenly across, 1,000 kilowatts a month. That's not true. Most people in the summer spike, and in the winter, it drops even more. And so you need to know that's part of your actual, that is part of your actual training, which is why I'm telling you that you go through three training cells, but if your trainer is just simply, give me the bill, uh, and, and you don't know what the hell's going on, you're not going to be ready after three. And that's why we want to go ahead and do that. Um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to see who here is serious about success. Uh, and I know we have a lot of uh, window lookers, but I'm looking for people that are serious about success. My name is Javier. I am your friend, uh, family member. You're going to call me and I'm going to make it very, very hard. Okay, I'm going to leave the script up on the screen. So what you're going to do is unmute yourself right now. And then you're just going to ask, hey, hello, uh, Javier. And we'll take it and, and only take it as far, by the way. Do not go into the hesitation part because once i tell you okay i'll get it over to you all right javier bye you're done don't volunteer more information unless you absolutely have to who wants to go first mm. okay javier i will perfect okay so <laughs> ring uh hello hi javier this is vanessa how are you doing hey vanessa good how, how what's going on with you I'm doing great. Thank you. You know, I was calling to let you know that I, I recently added, added solar to my business <clears throat> and, okay. I'm, and I'm helping people slash their electricity bill by going solar um, with zero money down right now. Now, I don't know if going solar would make sense for you or not, but I can prepare a free solar savings report to find out. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Keep going. Okay, so, and then I can present it to you via Zoom. In about 20 minutes, we can get that done. And the best part is that you will receive a three night and four day stay at Vegas with no cost to you. How does that sound? Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Fantastic. Now, do you, do you normally get your electricity bill in the mail or online? Uh, online. Okay, great. Can I please send your, um, or send me your picture of the electricity bill every page? And again, there's no obligation at all. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll get it over to you, Vanessa. All right. Okay, fantastic. Then I'll look for that. Um, I'll look at that in the next few hours or next couple hours. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it in about an hour or two. Okay. Fantastic. I'll talk to you soon. Perfect. Thank you. Great job. Congratulations. And so again, great, great job. And the, the key there was that she did something very good, which she didn't stop in the first paragraph. I mean, ideally, we can go through the whole thing without stopping. Great, but she did a great job, and that's what I'm talking about now. She's, she didn't sound as polished right now. She will after she does it 10, 20 times in her mind. But I guarantee you, it just eventually becomes second nature. And even if she just simply does it on the fly without the script in front of her, she might forget half of it. But the important element here is to let her know that it's Vanessa. The important part is that she can help somebody go solar. But the most important or one of the most important ones, I don't know if it's right for you or not. And that takes away the expectation of a hard close at the end which means their minds are open a little longer until you tell them about Vegas. The only thing I would say is that with the Vegas trip, I would just simply never give any details at this point because the way I do it, I, I just like she said, now I don't tell them there's going to be any expense or cost because they have to, to they do have to pay the taxes, which are $98 for the entire four days, three nights. However, however, when somebody becomes my client, I just reimburse them $100 cash so they can go ahead and either pay for the taxes or be spending money in Vegas. So I always do that. And then depending on the size of the system, I even give them a gift card. I just simply say, hey, here's your gas money to Vegas, a $200 gas card, and get ready for the referrals. Get ready for the referrals. That's going to be something very, very important. Great, great job. Who wants to go next? Come on, we need somebody else. Come on. I'm leaving it up on the screen, guys. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I'll go, Javier. Yes, thank you so much. Ladies, la lady power. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, uh, ring. Hello. Hey, Javier. This is Stephanie. How are you? Good, Stephanie. How's, how's everything going with you? Everything's good. I was just oh. calling because I added solar to my uh, portfolio, and I've been helping people slash their electricity bill, um, but zero money down, 
And I'm not sure if solar makes a sense for you or not, but um, we can prepare a free solar savings report to find out. Um, we'll do the presentation by Zoom, takes about 20 minutes. And the best part is we'll, you'll receive a four day, three night stay in Las Vegas. Just a way of us saying thank you. How do you how do you receive your electricity bills by mail or online? I, I get in the mail. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, can you possibly take a picture of every page and send it over to me? And again, yeah. there's no obligation. No, oh. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, if there's no obligation, I'll go ahead and do that. So yeah, I'll get it over to you. Okay. Can I expect it today? Uh yeah, I'll, as soon as I get home, I'm driving, but as soon as I get home, I'll snap some pictures and send it to you. Okay, great. All right, I'll look, for, I'll look forward to receiving it and I'll get back to you when the proposal's ready. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Now, now, keep in mind that we're talking about one thing. I'm not talking about cold calling people right now. We're talking about dealing with people that we know, whether they are family members, whether they are friends, whether they are, maybe if you're a realtor, these are all old people, uh, customers that you sold homes to. So, understand that the element that you have right now is the element that people that door knock these people don't have, which is the trust element. Yeah. And so you have to understand where trust exists, selling or the need to quote hard sell anything goes down. And so it starts with you knowing that this is the real deal. It starts with you knowing that it does help the environment. It starts with you knowing that all you're trying to do is put more money in the pockets of your clients every month. Now, right now, we still have the 12th month, no payment. But as of last night, we still had the 36th month, no payment, meaning somebody can come on board today. And if their payment is $100 a month, we will, when we install a system, we will give them a check for $3,600, which is the payments for the first three years. Now, let me ask you a question. How many homeowners do you think would like to go solar and get three years worth of electricity with no payments? No. I mean, a few, a few. And then the next question is, why haven't you called them? And for a lot of people, the answer is because I'm not, I haven't done my homework. This is the chance. This is where the transformation begins. This is where you start to simply tell yourself, not only do I need to make money, not only do I want to make money, not only do I want to be successful, but I'm willing to do my part. Stop talking about it and start doing something about it and starting with the script is where it all begins. If you do not do this, I'm telling you, your days are numbered here in power. You're going to get my famous text message. Okay, do me a favor, Joe. Visit cancelpower.com to deactivate your membership because there's no sense in you spending all kinds of money for something that literally you have no hope of ever being able to do. Until you do your part, until you step out of your shell, until you call people, I will never and nobody in power will ever call you to quote, give you leads or give you business. Why would I give you a lead where, hell, you don't even believe in yourself. I don't think anybody else is going to believe in yourself. You can change that though. And the way you change that is by preparing yourself. Read this, read it out loud, read it once, twice. And then the next question is, what does power mean to you? Well, for me, uh, I was just strategizing because I'm almost done with my game plan for next year. I was telling my wife that the ironic part of power is that it's so scalable, unlike anything I have ever done in my life, anything that right now, the minimum, and I mean minimum wage for me is power for next year, even though we're probably going to hit it in the first quarter, is half a million. But if three things happen, three mechanical things, three things happen, then it goes from half a million to one million. There's no in between. There's no three quarters of a million. It's either half a million or one million. No in between. And so I want to set your business up where it's either you win or you win big. But most people right now are deciding through their action or lack of action, whether you win or whether you fail miserably. And most I'm telling you right now are going to fail miserably because they just never got themselves to take the action that nobody else can or will take for you. And so that's why I'm asking. OK, so we have two bracelets. Let's make it number three and we will call it a weekend. Who wants to go next? Let me know. Somebody new. Anybody? Number three. I'll go Javier. Go ahead. Perfect. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and start going. I'm going to bring, phone's going to ring. I'm going to answer. Uh, again, we're just friends, family, whatever. Javier, ring. Hello. 
Hi, Javier. Hello, Javier. This is Hector. How are you? Hey, good, Hector. Long time here. How, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, Javier. Hey, uh, I'm calling you to let you know that I'm uh, now helping people slash their electricity bill by going solar with zero down. Now, I don't know if this uh, is going to work for you or not or make sense for you, uh, but I'm prepared to, um, I can prepare a free solar savings report to find out. I can, I can also present to you uh, via Zoom in, in about 20 minutes. And the best part of it is that you will then receive a four day, three night, three night stay in Las Vegas as a way of saying thank you. Will that work for you? Yeah, they, I can try it out. I can take a look at it, yes. Okay, good. Uh, do you normally get your electricity bill in the mail or do you get it online? Uh, online, only. Paperless. Okay, great, great. Uh, can you please send me a picture via text of uh, all the pages on the on the, on your bill? Yeah, I can send it to you later when I get home. Yes. Okay, perfect, Javier. Again, there's no obligation uh, of any kind, and if they, and if you agree, then simply remind. I'm sorry, I got too far away. Okay, so yeah, Javier, uh, looking forward to to getting your bill. Perfect. All right, we got it. Thank you so much for calling me, Hector. Thank you. All right, perfect. I mean, that's what I'm talking about, guys. That if you can, and so that's what I'm telling you. I'm telling everybody, stop recruiting. If you didn't answer right now, you have no business recruiting anybody. Just so you know, zero business recruiting anybody because you are going to be of no help to them. And so that's why it's so important to get yourself up to snuff with the basics of the business. I'm not talking about the advanced stuff like with these guys. I didn't try to trip them. I didn't try to. Well, what if? Okay, let me throw a curb. I'm not. People don't do that. That's how simple power is. But if you do not, if you did not answer up, I would encourage you to stop recruiting people unless all of your people are making very good money. Otherwise, you're becoming part of the problem and you're going to end up duplicating yourself. And if you're frustrated, they're going to be frustrated. If you're not making money, they're not making money. If you're broke, they're broke. And eventually, if you quit, they quit or you quit after they quit. So. I leave you with that. I'm telling you, you're on the right track, but you got to make sure you're on the right train as it relates to power. Uh, so uh, I just want to go ahead and ask anybody and everybody if they have any questions before we go ahead and wrap it up about anything. Let me make sure there was nothing else. Oh, oh here. Make sure you scan this right here. This is the link to the tutorial page I showed you with the video and with the script. We're going to do this again next week. Because if you think you're gonna, if you think you're gonna get on this power webinar to learn about battery, we we are suspending all the training in regards to advanced stuff until we feel comfortable, and I feel comfortable that we have the basics covered. The team is growing by leaps and bounds. However, I don't feel comfortable continuing until we get enough people to cash flow. We get enough people to be able to open their mouth. And we get enough people to be able to at least recruit somebody because the number one thing that will help you recruit people is your success story. That's the simplest way to put it. And I don't mean this in a bad way. I just want to make sure that you understand that you want to be of service to people. You don't want to hinder them. And if I'm not feeling comfortable talking to anybody, get yourself up to par first. I'm not being mean and I'm not beating up on you or anybody else, but I really do want to emphasize how important it is for you to go ahead and get the basics done so that you can, here's the way I always see it. I've come, I came to power uh, since last year and I knew for a fact it was gonna take me a little while because I'm building it big. But what I also knew was that I was of no good to anybody back then, not knowing at least the basics of power. Now, like I said, my, my pipeline, hopefully I can close as much of it as I can this month. Is it over a hundred thousand? I got a team of whatever people. I feel comfortable now, and that's why I'm calling it the team kickoff event on September 24th. I am barely kicking it off because between me, Rhett, and other leaders that are up and coming, we've got it. We've got enough to get people to make money, and not just money. Here's what I tell people. I'll just wrap it up, and I'm sorry for taking a little longer than, than I usually do. Oh, I have five minutes. So let me just show you one last thing, and we are going to call it a day. So let me just show it to you right here. You have apparently you have forgotten 
why you are here. I don't know why you are here, and I hope you don't ever forget why you are here, but let me show you why most people told me they were here, and then we just have to have some congruency between the two. This is what brought me here. This is what's kept me here, and I'm just going to fast forward all this stuff to right here. If you close three, and pardon my French, I hope there's no little kids watching, but if you can close three miserable cells a month helping people slash their electricity bill with no money down, with a 30-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, with a company that's accredited and has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau that also has literally thousands of five-star reviews and on and on and on, three miserable cells a month make $21,000 in income <clears throat> or over a quarter of a million dollars a year. Now, if you don't see yourself doing three, maybe two. 14000 a month, 168000 If you see yourself doing just one, 7000 or $84,000 a year, do you know uh -huh. that if you close just one deal a month and uh -huh. you break 84000 a year, uh -huh. did you know that you would be making more than the average Californian makes in an entire year with a traditional job. Did you know that? Because if you don't do this, guess what? You're going to go get one of those jobs and do anything to me. But just please don't make me go back to the police department, man. I don't, I don't want to go back to a job. I love the freedom that comes with making things happen. But you got to do that. And if you don't see yourself consistently closing at least one a month, then yes, it's time to go visit cancelpower.com. That's just the reality. I cannot stand feeding people false hope. I look at people and say, this person better turn it around right now, or you're just going to keep throwing good money after bad money every single month. And let me tell you something, until you change, not a damn thing's going to change. And so I'm just challenging you. I'm challenging you to please, please, for your own good, at least sear this into your mind. Three deals a month, $21,000 in income, or a, over a quarter of a million dollars a year. That's what brought me here. I don't know what the hell brought you here. Maybe you just love giving $85 a week. If, if you do, sign up for my own personal PayPal and send me the damn $85 a month if that's what you want to do. But I know you got what it takes, but you're going to have to do your part. Questions, comments, concerns, if nothing else, from anybody. Thank you so much for all oh, that yeah. you do. Yes, go ahead. I got a couple things real quick. Go ahead, please. All right. So um, real quick, in regards to the script, um, you know, Javier was making it really simple. But quite frankly, it's actually easier when it's tough. When somebody tells you or, or you're talking to somebody and they tell you that, like what Javier said, you know, typically the bad things we hear. I mean, every presentation I start with, tell me what you know about solar or what you've heard about solar. Um, I love it when they tell me something negative. Um, and if somebody comes across when you're when you're using that script and they say, well, you know, I had a friend that went, so I, I'm not really interested. Well, what, what do you mean you're not interested? Well, I'm not really interested. Well, are you not interested in saving money or not interested in helping the environment? No, I have a friend and he had a really bad experience. What was the experience? I want to know. OK. And if he says, well, you know, he had he wound up having a bill of, of um, in fact, uh, we've got one right now I'm working on. Um, with uh, an helicon and, and it's like they had a $2,100 true up bill. Well, that was, you know, I understand exactly why that is. Now I can explain to him what that is, but he said, well, let me ask you the question. If I could show you how that, that would not happen for you and that you would have actually credit at the end of the year, would you be willing to give me 20 minutes? You see how much easier it is actually when they tell you something bad because you can turn that right around and, and, and um, use that to close your appointment. But the point is, you saw how, you know, we still flub up even when we've got the script in front of us. So the way you get past that is you have to rehearse and you don't need somebody else to rehearse. You don't need Javier or you don't need me or anybody else. You can literally rehearse and record it on your iPhone and play it back to yourself. Listen to yourself. Do that eight or 10 or 15 times, however many times it takes to where you start feeling comfortable and things start flowing and you don't have to look at the script. The script is the start. Uh, Javier's providing all this stuff to us, but this is just where we start. It's not where we don't expect you to use this forever. That's number one. Number two, Ellen had um, a comment regarding uh, 
she's done two contracts, but she hasn't learned anything. Well, it's very important you're using, um, I mean, if you're going to use Javier and I as a mentor, I guarantee you, you're going to start the presentation on the Zoom call 10 to 15 minutes early with us, and we're going to review everything with you. And we're going to end the presentation, removing the client and, and talking for another five or 10 minutes about how it went and what we thought was good, what we thought was bad, where do we think we need to do, and what's the next step. Um, and you need to make sure, you need to hold us accountable. You need to hold your mentor accountable for training because at the end of the day, you get to that third sale and you say, well, I want, you know, I've got my HIS, I've got my three sales, I want to start making 100%. Well, you sure, you, you damn well better be able to do it yourself. If you're still needing help, then you're going to have to share that sale. You know, I mean, I, we want to help you. We want to help you make money. But at the end of the day, you know, this is our job. This is what we do. This is how we make money. So, you know, you know, we're going to get you to a point where um, uh, by that third training sale, you better be doing the whole thing on your own. You, I'm not going to do your if, if you say I want to go to the next level. I want to be a true tier two. Then I'm going to say, OK, when that proposal comes in, the AI that Javier was talking about, I'm going to say, OK, you fix it. Show me how you would sell it. And then you're going to do the presentation. I'm going to be there and I'm going to help you and I'm going to make sure you don't do anything wrong. But by that third sale, if you're expecting up sale number four to get 100%, by sale number three, you're doing it on your own. Javier and I did number two on our own. Okay. Why? Because we studied and we knew that this is what we wanted to do. And we were looking towards the future. We're not just, you know, kind of doing it by accident. So that's number two. Um, just a couple of announcements. No more 1.48% or no or 1.49%. It doesn't exist anymore. Uh, with Goodleap, it's gone. It may still be on a proposal. So if you're a tier two and you've got it on your proposal, when you go to pre-qualify, it will not work. It will say uh, not available. Okay. Uh, that just happened two days ago. The other thing, Javier, can you let me share my screen real quick? Sure. Hold on. We have a, and this is, um, Javier was showing you the presentation, uh, the homeowner's presentation. It's actually the old one as of last night. Um, they just shared the new deck. Let's see. Here's the new deck. It's really cool. Here's the, oh, hold on. Here's the um, new bio page. It allows you to add certifications. They've cleaned it all up. It looks beautiful. Uh, Here's how you get to it. You go here, you go home. So you get to your knowledge base, go to homeowner's presentation. You can download it. You can also make a copy when you make a copy. It looks like this and it allows you to do all the stuff. You can change everything in here. And um, you can see it's all been updated. It's really cool. So go to knowledge base. It tells you exactly how to do it right here. Make a copy and then you can clean it up for yourself. So if you're a, a tier two um, seller, you can go ahead and put all your information in there. Uh, and uh, uh, very exciting. So I think I think that's it, Javier. Cool. Okay, thank you so much for that, Brad. And like I said, uh, any any other questions for any from anybody about anything, please, this is your show. And so, like I said, it, it, my recommendation to everybody is that next week, you know, one of the things you'll know about me, that my, part of my philosophy of life and business is to be uh, redundantly boring. We're, next week, we're going to work on the same thing. I'll bring up some new stuff, but I'm also going to come right back to this because I'm telling you right now, don't get your hopes of making money up unless you learn to open your mouth and just do what I'm showing you to do, just so you know the chances of you succeeding here at Power are slim to none and slim is on vacation. Uh, I don't want to give false hope to anybody. I just want to be honest with you, but I'm willing to help you if you're willing to help yourself. I want to build myself an army of people. Now, I know that to go through an army of people, I have to go through an even bigger army of people that didn't do it. So that's why I'm putting a lot of emphasis on just the script, because if you're brand new today and you just get as far as the bill and then have no clue what the hell to do, guess what? We know what to do. We'll do everything. We'll do the heavy lifting. We'll teach you. We'll train you. We'll support you. But it all starts for you with you. And that's what I'm going to end it with. Last there's call. A, Go ahead. Javier, there's a uh, something in the chat regarding mobile homes. We do not do mobile homes. 
we can do manufactured homes as long as they're on their own land. Okay. So, but we do not do mobile homes. Mobile homes can't uh, typically handle. Yes. <laughs> All right. Cool. I'm Anything here. Else? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm, it, it, you keep talking about going to this uh, product knowledge page, whatever. Where is that? It's not on our regular, uh, you know. Here, let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. Hold on. Let me just, hold on. This is part of the training then. Let me go here. One second, please. What I'm going to do, usually when you go to power, you end up at power.com slash projects. And so what I'm going to do is share the screen with you so you can see what it is that we're talking about. And so I'm going to go ahead and log in. You should see my projects page, right? Yeah. And from here, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom on the left-hand side. You see knowledge base? Uh, right. I see all that, but how do I hold get on, hold on. this page? Oh, I know. Do you see knowledge base right here? Yep. yep. Okay. I'm going to click on knowledge base. We'll do it by the numbers. Then from here, what is the wording <laughs> on, that, on the new one, Brett? So I can just pull it up here. What's it called? Plant, homeowner? What is it? I just type presentation. Okay. Pre okay. We'll just call presentation. Presentation. And so when you type in presentation... I hit enter or search or whatever the hell you want to call this. Uh, finish it. Power, which, what's it called? Hold on. Did, did, hold on. Let me pull it up for you. Rhett, what is the uh, actual file call called? I think Rhett went away, man. Left us hanging. Okay, hold on. Um, Sorry, I didn't realize I was muted. Oh. Uh, okay, hold on. It's the homeowner presentation. Okay, yeah, I was called. Home. Homeowner presentation. Yeah, that sounds better. Homeowner. Hey, you rep. Homeowner presentation. I don't see it here, Rhett. Oh, you know what? On the right-hand side, I don't know why it has spam. I don't know why the hell it has that. Make sure. I don't know why, but make sure it's, it's in. It's number five. It's number okay. five. You don't even have to type it in. Okay. But no, but what I did wrong up here had Spanish. I don't know why. On the right-hand side, upper right. <laughs> Just do that. Homeowner presentation, Bob. Yep. And there you go. And if you I go down that. further, if you go down further, Javier, this is the new deck. Charles is doing the presentation with the new deck. So don't, you can't say, I don't know how to do the presentation. You can go and, right and through there. And the, the best, the most highest paid person in the company is teaching you how to do the presentation. I agree. I agree because I was, I will tell you that we just want to make sure that we are ready to handle everything. I just put it in the chat to, to get to this easy. page. This page, yeah. what is the, what's the... I just sent you the link in chat. Okay. Check it. Just click on it, Bob, real quick. Click on it. I'm clicking. Okay, and it's asking me to log in. It already has my login. Yes, log in. Is this behind a uh, firewall? You got it. Passport yeah. protection. And if you need to, click on the link again. It'll bring you right to it. What, what, what do you see, Bob? Um, homeowner's presentation. It's actually it. showing you. That's it. Because they're letting you know about, you know, how it's yeah. new. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's there. All right. Anybody else? Questions, comments, concerns before we wrap it up? Really quick. Javier, when, it, when are you going to Cabo? You said you're going to oh, Cabo. No, no, no. I wish. I'm not going to be oh. in Cabo. No. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for all that you do. Please, as always, don't ever say, uh, don't ever take anything I say the wrong way. I really want you to win. I'm committed to helping you win, but I really, 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 really need you to also help me out and do your part. And if we build a small army of people who are not afraid to go out there and just engage, there's no stopping this. Well, we're going to win regardless. We're going to conquer this whole thing regardless, but we just want you to be a part of it. And that's all. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.